It's not every day that a company quietly rewriting the rules of transportation hits a massive milestone. But that's exactly what Aptera has done. On June 27, 2025, Aptera Motors is unveiling something big. The first fully built validation vehicle of its long-awaited solar electric car. A sleek, hyper-efficient machine that runs quietly literally on sunshine. This isn't just a prototype or a render, it's a real physical vehicle, the first of a new breed that could change how we think about energy, motion and what it means to drive in the 21st century. And the most surprising part, it requires no fuel and in many cases not even a plug. Let's explore how Aptera reached this moment, why it matters for clean transportation and what it tells us about the future of sustainable mobility. Electric vehicles are often hailed as the future of clean transportation, but even EVs have their downside. They are heavy, they are resource intensive, and despite the lack of tailpipes, their carbon footprint is still deeply tied to how their electricity is generated. In a nutshell, most EVs are heavy, some topping 4,000 pounds, they use rare materials, and the energy that powers them often comes from fossil fuel-based grids. Not to mention, range anxiety, charging infrastructure, battery degradation. Solving these problems isn't just about bigger batteries or faster charging, it's about rethinking efficiency from the ground up. That's where Aptera enters the story, with a completely different question. What if the most sustainable vehicle was one that really needed to charge at all? Aptera's story isn't new. In fact, they first appeared on the scene back in 2006. But after early hurdles and a market that wasn't ready, the company faded until it came roaring back in 2019. With a new design philosophy and a clearer mission, build the most efficient vehicle ever made. Artemis, the vehicle said to be revealed on June 27, is the accumulation of that mission. Sculpted like a teardrop, nature's most aerodynamic shape, the vehicle is expected to boast a drag coefficient of about 0.13. Compare that to a Tesla Model 3 at around 0.23 and you start to see the scale of optimization. Aptera Motors was founded on the core principle, ultra-efficiency. Instead of building a typical EV, they designed a three-wheeled aerodynamic vehicle shaped more like a raindrop than a car. Why? Because in fluid dynamics, the teardrop is the most efficient shape for moving through air. In striving to achieve a drag coefficient of 0.13, Aptera glides with minimal resistance. That means less energy is needed to go the same distance. Combine that with a lightweight composite body, regenerative braking and integrated solar panels. And the result is a vehicle that can drive up to 40 miles a day, powered purely by the sun. No grid connection, no fossil fuels, just the sky above. And now, after years of design, simulation and iteration, they've reached a real milestone, the fully built validation vehicle. Aptera's June 27 announcement marks the delivery of what's called a production intake vehicle. This isn't a display model or a shelf for showrooms, it's a real fully assembled vehicle that represents the finer engineering design and will be used for crucial testings like crash safety, solar performance and regulatory compliance. In the automotive world, this is the step just before mass production. For Aptera, it's a moment of truth, a decade of ideas, reboot, funding hurdles and engineering breakthroughs, all distilled into one physical vehicle. To prove that solar-powered vehicle isn't just possible, it's practical, scalable and ready for the real world. And the timing couldn't be better. With climate pressure rising and EV adoption expanding, Aptera offers something the industry desperately needs a car that uses less, not more. So, how does Aptera actually make this work? Let's break it down in simple terms. At the heart of the vehicle is a highly efficient electric drivetrain, powered by lithium-ion batteries. But the true innovation lies in the body. Aptera's frame is built from carbon fiber reinforced polymer, an ultralight material that's incredibly strong and up to 65% lighter than steel. 
In fact, the entire vehicle is optimized for ultra efficiency. It weighs under 2,000 pounds and it includes in wheel motors that eliminate mechanical losses from traditional drivetrains. Put simply, Aptera doesn't just use clean energy, it needs less energy to begin with. That flips the sustainability equation and gives solar power a race shot at viability in personal transportation. A solar car has always been a dream, but can it actually work outside the lab? For Aptera, the answer is yes. Each vehicle integrates up to 700 watts of curved solar panels across the roof, hood, and tail, designed to generate up to 40 miles of range per day in ideal conditions, and that's the game changer. Most Americans drive fewer than 30 miles per day, which means for the majority of users, Artemis could require zero charging, no plugs, no grid strains, just passive sunlight doing the heavy lifting. And when you do need extra range, Aptera offers battery configuration up to 1,000 miles per charge, far more than most EVs on the market today. Thanks to its low drag, the Aptera can travel up to four times farther than a typical EV on the same energy. That's not just good engineering, that's a complete redefining of sustainable transport. If Aptera succeeds, and early science suggests it's succeeding, it could change the economics of personal transportation. Think about it this way. A car that really needs charging infrastructure that requires far fewer materials to build, that can be shipped in flat pack crates and assembled locally, that makes clean energy mobile, accessible, and nearly maintenance free. It's not just about new EV, it's about decentralized transportation that reduces strain on both grids and roads. It's about lowering the energy cost of motion, not by a little, but by orders of magnitude. In a future shaped by climate urgency, resource scarcity, and rapid urbanization, Aptera's model could offer a blueprint for what comes next. Lightweight, intelligent, self-charging vehicles that don't just use energy, they harvest it. With the validation vehicle now ruling out, the company is closer than ever to real-world delivery. As of mid-June 2025, the uptake of priority delivery slot, a key fundraising indicator, is still ongoing. The enthusiasm is still there, but the urgency may need a boost. Aptera's leadership knows it. This fully production intent vehicle reveal isn't just a vehicle showcase, it's a rallying cry. A call for support because, for all its promise, Aptera still faces the same brutal reality as every clean tech startup. Hardware is expensive, manufacturing is unforgiving, and without a boost of capital, whether from crowdfunding or a major investor, Artemis race becoming another beautiful concept stock in Nutra. That's why the June 27 livestream matters. It must inspire, it must reassure, and above all, it must prove that Aptera is not just dreaming, it's delivering. As Artemis promises to impress and become production ready, the next chapter could be transformative. Aptera plans a summer road trip to showcase the vehicle across the country, real roads, real climate, real world data. And why past prototypes like the one shown at CES gain media attention, they didn't unlock major investment. This time, everything is on the line because Aptera is chasing a model that doesn't just compete with Tesla or Rivian, it might bypass the game entirely. Imagine a world where solar-powered vehicles are manufactured locally, assembled quickly, and charged passively. Imagine reducing grid dependency, not increasing it. What else might we redesign from ground up? Let us know what you think about Aptera's validation vehicle in the comments below. Could this be the dawn of solar mobility? And if you're as curious about clean tech and sustainable innovation as we are, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss the next deep dive. Because the future is just getting better. Thank you for sticking around to this point. See you in the next video.